All right, guys. A GOP candidates face off in the first presidential debate debate of 2024. Is that next year? Snap, bro. Didn't know we're due for a new president. Guys. This is without Trump, by the way. Uh, because he's going to be arrested tomorrow, I think. Let's check it out. Well, the stage is now set for the first Republican presidential primary debate. Eight candidates will share the spotlight tonight up in Milwaukee, but frontrunner former President Trump will not be there. CBS2 political. Dang, bro. You think he would have been there if this he wasn't going to be arrested, guys? Oh, my gosh, bro. It's going to be hot. 112 degrees, apparently. Investigator Dana Cox. This is in Chicago. I'm not sure what heat index means, if it's like the hottest is going to be there, but dang. Love is there, and she joins us live from Milwaukee. Hey, Dana. Hey, Chris, you know, Donald Trump may be skipping this first GOP presidential debate, but his supporters are not. Eight of the 13 GOP presidential candidates will be taking part, and many of the state's Republican leaders say they don't mind that the former president won't be among them. Look, he's been the nominee twice. Hey, bro. Donald Trump sure has a huge fan base, man. I'm not gonna lie, man. <laughs> huge fan base. People know who he is. Him being on the debate stage, they weren't gonna learn anything more, uh, you know, tonight that they would have known about Donald Trump. What's great about it for us is we're gonna have eight people up on that stage. And if the people watching tonight watch this and look at those eight and go, you know what, I kind of like that one too. And I like that one. And I like the next one and the next two. That's a victory for me. Hey, bro. What, what do you guys think of this? Let me know in the comments below. Some folks I spoke with say they hope to hear candidates talk about the issues and not necessarily about... Uh, Trump. He's got such a prominent tan, guys. Of front runner Donald Trump's troubles. However, Donald Trump Jr. was here. We saw him walking out of the debate area about an hour and a half ago. Now, Trump Jr., okay, okay. But I had to ask the Wisconsin GOP chairman about the um, elephant in the room. Uh, Any concerns that your party's current front runner is also facing for indictments? No, I think, you know, that process will work itself, you know, through at whatever point. Yeah, he'll be out posting on his uh, social media platform soon, guys. Uh, you know, look at the polls on this issue because it doesn't seem to be hurting him terribly. All the news that he's been through in the last couple of months. All of the can. As he get, if he gets uh, indicted and then reelected, I will. I don't know what I'll do though. <laughs> I'll be uh, I'll be honestly sh surprised guys candidates taking part in this debate which starts in less than an hour had to meet strict polling and donor requirements to do so I'm live in Milwaukee Dana Kozlov CBS 2 News Chris okay Dana thanks look forward to seeing you these Republicans allow candidates to compete with defenders of democracy not a chance because somebody in the office can't even speak uh, Summer's ain't Trump 24. Oh my gosh, yeah. Why are they even running against Trump? So he said, unfortunately. So you know how it's going to be mixed. Let me know what you guys think of this video. So like, comment, subscribe. That's the last long form content I'm going to do. I'm going to do one more short, one more uh, play clip. Pretty good day today, guys. Not a, not a, not a huge jump in views. Actually... Right, like 60k across both channels, so not bad. Um, yeah, guys, thank you guys for the support. Check out CBS Chicago in the description. Like, comment, subscribe. Uh, shout out everybody that watches my stuff for reals. Much appreciated, guys. We're here every day doing this. Come say hey in the Twitch chat if you haven't already. Later, guys.